there's always more misery among the lower classes than there is humanity in the higher classes. I, d- I just want to pause for a second there and, and for people to kind of grasp uh, what Dr. King has said thus far and, and, and look at our nation at that point in its development and contrast it at where it is today. And and clearly, the, the 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 struggle in rural America, the struggle in urban America, is the same. Uh, people are struggling in a nation that is full of wealth and can't seem to get a grasp on what our nation says it is, because a certain segment of this nation is controlling all of the wealth and, and, and the American people, both white, black, and others, far too large a segment of the American people struggle and somehow are led to believe that it, the struggle is based on other poor people of the society when at the root of it is a a government that is is certainly um, controlled by those with wealth who aren't concerned about the average United States citizen. Dr. King was talking about this back in 1967. And here we are today. Same thing. And and the promises of our nation have not been met. He's explaining why it hasn't been met. Because this is really the reason that Dr. King was assassinated. Many people, this speech is what cost him his life. Because people would say, Dr. King, we're with you as long as you are talking about integrating lunch counters, you know, and, and you know, and, and grocery stores. Okay, we, we agree with you on that, right? That's okay. We, we, we'll support you on that. But when Dr. King started talking about the military industrial complex, which is what the third evil of the society is that he's talking about. That was the death knell for Dr. King to lose his life. Got to take a short hiatus. 844-967-2789 is the number. 